Now, I ate five guys before filming this outfit video, so please let's not judge me on my bloating. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys some casual winter outfits. Temperature has definitely dropped. Um, I usually don't leave the house nearly as much in the winter. I become quite a hermit. But when I do go out, I do still like to look cute. So especially working from home, going out to the grocery store is like, you gotta look on fleek because there's no other way to meet people. So this is my favorite outfit. As you can see, I'm wearing this jacket right now filming this video, but I love an all cream outfit or an all white outfit. Now I know what people say, like don't wear white after Labor Day, but like, I don't believe that rule. I don't know who came up with the rule or why, but you know, life is short. If you wanna wear white, you wear white. And it is just these white baggier jeans from Zara. I got them in the summer. I think they're around like $40. Paired with these really nice boots I got. These boots are from the thrift store because they're square toed boots, which I think are such a vibe. And then I paired it with this turtleneck I also thrifted. So you can definitely find a bunch of these out, like outfits like this from items from the thrift store. Like you don't need to buy anything new. Shackets are a huge thing this year. Um, so I finally bought one and I got the Aritzia Ghana jacket in a size small. And this is the bone color. This is a really hot item from Aritzia this year. As you guys probably know, if you shop at Aritzia, this has been like a really popular item. Every single time I go into Aritzia, the girls always comment about how this jacket specifically is sold out in this color. And then I got this bag from the thrift store as well. So I'm talking about guys like go to the value village. Like nothing has to be purchased new. And then this is the cutest bag. Like this is like a bag that looks like something you would buy at like, I don't know, Princess Polly or something. Beige color. And I just think it ties the outfit in so wonderfully. Great outfit out of all of them. And I was like, wow, Amanda, why don't I wear this more? Like, I was impressed. So yeah, don't be afraid to wear cream in the winter. I still think you can still um, pair a lot of clothes with it. So yeah. We have a super comfortable outfit again. And we have these black jeans. You can use any black jeans. These are flare jeans. These are the Citizens of Humanity jeans. And then they actually, I don't love them because they have a zipper fly opposed to a button fly. And we love a button fly because we love being sucked in, but I don't mind these. And I got them like super on sale from Anthropology. Definitely check out like Boxing Day, Anthropology. They always have Citizens on sale. But anyways, I bought these and I really like them because I just find like the flared super flattering and then I really like the boots I have with them. They're more of a chunkier boot, so they're definitely more um, comfortable to walk in opposed to like a square, like opposed to the square toed shoes. Those were a little bit more uncomfortable because it was like a smaller heel, but this one's like super thick. So I can like go and like walk forth or like walk downtown and shop down Robson and wear these and not be like uncomfortable. So I really like these boots. They're from Steve Madden. And then I have just a gray hoodie. This is the Aritzia boyfriend hoodie. I believe in the smaller size, the one I think. And yeah, just a really nice, lovely colored gray hoodie. This is the Aritzia Stedman coat, the Babaton Stedman coat. This is a pretty famous Aritzia piece. If you shop at Aritzia a lot, you probably know this coat. And I really like this coat. I've had it for a really long time. I think I've bought, I've gone through two Aritzia coats, the Cocoon coat and the Stedman. And I prefer the Stedman because I like the more masculine look opposed to um, the cocoon is more of like a feminine and then yeah paired again with this everyday bag because i just think it honestly makes every outfit look super chic and like a little bit more trendy when you add this bag so i really like how this all came together and so this outfit i really love and i probably wear this the most this is like what all my friends probably well all my friends there's quarantine there's no friends to see but um all of the people of vancouver on the seawall will see me in because I'm constantly wearing this outfit. It's so perfect when you like want to be athletic but you still want to be warm. I just wore these like Nike shoes that I have. They're Nike whatever. I don't even know what version these are. I'll link them down below. But these really cute socks I got from Lululemon. These are the Lululemon Wonder Trains. The most comfortable leggings I think in black hoodie. So super like casual and basic. You could pair any hoodie really. And then a short puffer. This is the super short puff I believe it's called from Aritzia. Um, I've never bought a super puff before until this year and I am obsessed with this puff like I first originally got it in the white I literally had it for a few days I wasn't wearing it and I was like you know what like for me it was just bold just because like I'd never owned anything like kind of puffy like this so I was like I think I just need to get black and be like sleek so I got the black and I'm really happy I got the black and I really like the size like the extra small or the extra short this is the shortest you can go in the super puff and I think it was really worth the money like I've literally worn this all the time and it's just like so cute and like it's like more of that like sporty vibe which I really like I think it's super cute outfit especially if you're going like outdoors or doing something a little more like adventurous, you know, like 
walking to seawall. Okay, so this outfit screams Hailey Bieber. If you follow her and her street style, I'm a huge fan, like I said, and she always wears leather pants. So these are the Aritzia Rebel pants, the Rebel, yeah, the Rebel pant. And the reason I like these pants so much is because of the texture. I've talked about this before. It's I really liked how the leather pants have more texture opposed to just being straight leather like the Melina. And then I have on these white sneakers. These are really nice sneakers. These are the Super Gas, Super Guys, whatever. I don't know what they're called. But I talk about these a lot as well because I like the platform. It gives me a lot more height. I know Hailey Bieber always wears like more of a chunkier sneaker. And um, I feel like I can't pull that off. I don't know why. I feel like a Tom, like a young boy when I like wear chunky sneakers. I just can't do it. So I like how this one kind of like el elongates me a bit. Gives me more height. And again, super comfortable, of course. And then I have on this long, huge, oversized uh, black crew neck, which I got from Value Village again. Utilize those thrift stores. Paired it with the same shacket from Aritzia. So I really like this. It's super oversized. It's super comfortable. You could probably also wear this with leggings, but I kind of like how the leather pants sit over the white shoes. It kind of gives more of a like trendier and more like done up outfit. Like if I wore leggings, I feel like this would like really dress this outfit down. If I wanted to like add another layer, you could totally put under like a thin tight or a legging under these pants to give yourself an, an extra layer of warmth. Last outfit I had to include because it's just, it's so real and it's so true to me. So I feel like, you know, here I am showing casual outfits I wear. Well, this is literally one of my most worn outfits in the winter. And it is this, a parka with like more comfy baggier joggers and Bluntstones. I have such mixed vibes about Bluntstones. When I first bought them, I literally bought mine. I, like I wanna say like, how old am I? No, maybe like six years ago. Like I got them like way before they kind of became a thing because like I grew up in a really northern town for like the last two years of my high school life and you needed a shoe or else like you literally would like melt, your foot would like melt in the snow. In Vancouver, blown stones are huge. Like everybody owns a pair just because it rains 24 seven here. And they're just such a good shoe for like hiking as well as just being like water resistant. This is the Canada Goose Shelburne Parka. I got this when I was in Toronto and then I moved here. I run cold and honestly I spent a lot of money in this jacket so I wear it a lot in Vancouver because why wouldn't I? Like some people are like, why would you wear Canada Goose in Vancouver? It's so warm. And it's like, you know what? I run cold and I'm gonna wear this jacket, so I wear it. And the good thing about this Canada Goose, which I really like this version, the Shelburne, why I bought it, is because it has these sleeves, so you can like wear it as a as a backpack. So if you're ever like shopping and you're like hot, you can actually take this off and wear it as a backpack. Um, I was kind of wearing a sports bra when I filmed this, but it's really funny. So that's why I really like the Shelburne and that's why I got it over all the Canada Gooses. But yeah, this is honestly the most realistic outfit for me because when it's really cold and especially in Ontario, when it's like minus 40, you just want to be comfortable and warm. Those are all my casual winter outfits. I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below, maybe like an outfit you're wearing often or something that you're really enjoying for the winter season. And yeah, it's almost Christmas. It's exciting. I'm actually not going home for Christmas. This will be my first <laughs> Christmas alone. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, but I'm not the only one. Half the world is alone right now and so on. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Well, I just filmed that whole video and realized that there was a massive hair sticking out at the side of my face. So let's just ignore that and pretend that that didn't happen that whole time. Okay? <laughs>